Hello YouTube. This is my Ben Eater inspired 8-bit breadboard computer. And I posted a video a couple of days ago talking about a problem I was having with my program counter up here. This is a follow-up to that video, so I'll put a link in the description down below. If you haven't seen that video, you may want to check it out. So I think I've actually been able to resolve this problem. So I want to talk about what I did. Um, I had a couple replies on that first video, people saying that they have experienced this also. Um, so it's good to know that I'm not alone on this problem, and I'm still very curious to know how it is that Ben Eater was able to hook up that resistor capacitor directly in line with the clock circuit without having any problems. Because um, I'm not able to do that, and at least a few other people that replied to that first video said that they're not able to do that. But as you can see, uh, the program counter up here is outputting to the bus, and the count is uh, seems to be stable and good, and it's not skipping or hesitating. Because um, one of the problems I was noticing also was that even when the count would go forward, you know, all the way from 0 to 15, it would sometimes uh, hesitate. So it might go from like 11 to 12, and then it would like stay on 12 for two or three clock pulses before going on. But now everything seems to be seems to be okay. So the way that I went about, um, and I'm, I'm a little hesitant to use the word solve because I think this is more of a workaround than it is a true solution, or it might even be you might even consider this a hack. But the idea that I had was to um, essentially separate the resistor capacitor clock from the rest of the from the rest of the clock circuit by way of uh, some sort of filtering method and what I was and I don't really know how to do that but one idea I had was to run the clock signal through some kind of gate uh, be it an AND gate a NAND gate and you know, an OR gate really just any gate because the idea was that well gates have an input and an output and as long as the resistor capacitor portion is on the other side of the gate, you know, it's on the output side, then in theory, that would keep the clock signal uh, separate from, from the other, you know, what I'm, what I'm calling the original clock signal, which is this one, versus the, uh, like, the filtered clock signal. So currently, my original clock signal coming out of, well, coming out of the original clock, is running everywhere on the computer that needs the clock signal. So the program counter is getting the original clock signal, and then directly from the program counter, I'm feeding the original clock signal down into the register A, which also feeds down into register B. And then coming out kind of the other way, I have the original clock signal going into the memory address register. And then here's where Here's where it kind of breaks down a little bit. So coming out of the memory address register, I still have the original clock signal coming down here to this NAND gate, which is on the, uh, the lower part of the RAM module. Now, before I mention what's going on here, I'll, I want to say that the original clock signal also splits off from that point. Didn't mean to bump the camera there. Splits off from that point and feeds down into the, uh, the uh, what is this thing called, the instruction register. So everything that needs that like pure original clock signal has it. And I'll overlay a couple of pictures here to zoom in on a couple of these modules to show what I'm talking about. But here where the original clock signal comes in at the uh, lower part of the RAM module, what you can see that I've done is the... Uh, and it's the only reason I'm using this NAND gate down here is just because it was already placed there by it was already placed there as part of setting up this circuit. You know, when we did this, um, you know, when we're following along with Ben Eater's videos, and you can clearly see, you know, that clock signal feeds into the NAND gate. And all I'm doing is I'm inverting the clock signal and then I'm, a, I'm inverting it again and then coming out of that second inversion. So basically, I'm the double inversion has no effect. It nullifies the inversion, just gives me back the original clock signal. But since that 
original clock signal has now gone through those two NAND gates, it's coming out of the output. And since it's coming out of the output, that resistor capacitor combination down there at the bottom, it's like it's essentially separated from the rest of the clock circuit. And that seems to be uh, that seems to be working really well. Now, I, I, I do wonder if maybe using just an AND gate or an OR gate might be a little better uh, because then you only have to go through one input output as opposed to, um, you know, as opposed to, you know, double inverting like I am through this NAND gate. However, there is one other advantage to using this NAND gate here the way I'm doing it. Uh, later on, and it's not too far in the future because at this point in the uh, video series, I'm, I'm really close to being caught up with, um, you know, with all the videos that he has posted so far. And I know that in one of the videos here coming up, we're going, he inverts the clock signal and then runs a long wire coming down to um, whatever that module is down here below the instruction register. I'm not, I can't actually remember what it is because I haven't got there yet. But one advantage of maybe, one possible advantage of this is that since I'm running the original clock signal through a NAND gate down here, I can actually tap in to that, to the output of that first inversion and then run that inverted clock signal from here. So that was just one thing that occurred to me is, is this maybe not being the worst thing in the world. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it for now. I just wanted to give an update there and let everybody know that uh, who has viewed the video or commented on it, that this was one idea that I came up with. So uh, thanks everybody.